Hello and welcome, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Today I'm bringing you the Orico 3.5 inch external hard drive enclosure unboxing and reviewing. The enclosure came through Amazon UK. It was quite a fast delivery. The packages is fantastic. It's really good quality. By opening the box, you will find the enclosure on the top in a plastic wrap. Here we go. At the bottom of the box, you will find the USB 3 cable that is about one meter long. And you will also find a power supply, 12 volts, uh, 2.5 amps. Also in the box came the user manual in two languages, Chinese and English, and a thank you card. The actual enclosure is very well made. The back part actually slides and also the hard disk can be easily fitted with no screws at all. As you can see there is the actual SATA adapter there. Now I'm going to insert my 3.5 inch hard disk and as you can see you just need to place it in and push it inside as simple as that and all you have to do then is just put the cover back on that actually slides the enclosure is compatible with the mac os 9.1 and above and with the windows xp vista 7 8 and 10 and the maximum capacity is 8 terabytes there is no need for any drivers it's just a plug and play and UASP protocol is supported too. Here we go here, now we are on my uh, OS X Mac where I'm going to run the speed test. I'm going to put in a Samsung 3.5 inch 2 terabyte SATA hard disk. The model is HD204UI. For the test, I'm going to use the Blackmagic uh, Disk Speed Test. Speed Test, uh, as you can see here, uh, the right part of it is going to be over the 160 megabyte per second, while the actual read is around 140, 145 megabyte per second. In overall, I'm uh, quite satisfied for the type of hard disk I have inserted in the enclosure. So, yes, I'm quite happy with that. Origo Technology Limited is the global leader in the computer peripheral, and uh, you can find all the latest innovations and the products on their website. You can find all the relevant links uh, below in the descriptions where you can find the actual website address, the Amazon links and of course the link back to my website where you can actually ask for more tutorials and don't forget to share and like my videos and I'll see you next tutorial.